Now, the Pandora project is a three-year EU project involving a collaboration between five university partners around Europe, uh, working in conjunction with an industrial advisory group from the oil and gas industry. And it's a project which is developing next generation autonomous vehicle technology for subsea inspection, repair and maintenance. We're moving more and more towards an age where autonomy, autonomous robots are important, both in society and in industry. There are lots of applications where humans can't be involved and we want autonomous robots to do complex work on behalf of human beings. It's looking at the future and it's looking at a capability that is going to be uh, applicable to our industry in the future and uh, it's got great promise. For us uh, it's exciting because uh, we haven't participated in underwater project before and although we have quite a long experience in robot learning we have uh, applied it to uh, on-ground robots only and it's the first time we, we are going to do this underwater. Subsea 7 are very interested in this project because it gives us uh, visibility to some uh, technology that will come in the next five to ten years that will allow us to change the way that we do some of our underwater operations which will bring us benefits and bring our customers benefits as well. It's very interesting to see how the state of the art is developing and where the future trends are coming from. This is a fantastic project. We're absolutely excited to be a part of it and to be indeed leading, leading the project. Partly because the technology is exciting but also because we can see um, future commercial potential and impact that can happen uh, as a result of the work that we're doing at Harriet Watt as well as the other partners in the project. Well, as part of our role within the R&D organisation and technology, we're looking out 10, 20 years to see what, what will be happening and seeing what technology BP should be looking to adopt going forward. So it's important for us to engage in these kind of activities to understand what's going on. What we're trying to do in Pandora is explore the possibility of developing autonomous robots that are much better able to deal with failure in the robot itself or when it finds out that the seabed and the subsea structures aren't exactly as expected and it has to deal with an unexpected situation. So this project addresses exactly the questions that need to be addressed to do with persistent autonomy, intelligent decision making and the ability to adapt to the environment without human intervention. It's through the collaborations that we're able to establish across Europe that we're really able to both develop technologies and integrate technologies to produce systems that meet the requirements that the users have in the offshore industry. We have a very nice relationship between Merit Watt and the University of Girona and we have collaborated in many research projects, even interchanging students. Uh, we usually will go to Edinburgh as well to test our vehicles in their facilities. It's very important for industry as a whole to have research that's grounded in real-world experiments because if we can get the right data from our experiments then when we come to take things offshore they're much more likely to work properly and not give us any surprises. I hope that as a result of this project we'll have much more capable planning systems and that that technology will generalise from our particular marine context that we're working on in Pandora to be useful in other contexts as well so that we can hope to have more collaboration with industry, more application and sort of broader social acceptance of some of the work that we're trying to do. The autonomy aspect that's being investigated here and what they've been looking at would enable us to do a lot more potentially in the similar time frames or give us much more up-to-date information, able us to respond more quickly. So we're very keen to see how this is progressing. The main goal is to achieve persistently autonomous robots, robots capable of adapting themselves depending on the environment. This is world-leading research in autonomous robot technology to help stimulate our economy.